It's 3 a.m. March the 25th, 1944. In the dark waters of the Atlantic, Captain Ryman Teisler commands the U-boat U-976, stealthily surfacing to rendezvous with an escort convoy destined for the German subpens in the south of France. Meanwhile, on a clear but hazy morning at RF Predanik in Cornwall, England, the stage was set for an extraordinary mission. The 618 Squadron of the Royal Air Force was gearing up for a daring submarine hunt. These aircraft, the Mosquito Mark 18s, had been fitted with a secret weapon. A 57mm Molin six-pounder field gun. Intelligence was good. The operation was on. runway was being extended when in a local pub it was overheard by the RAF ground crew that the labourers were making more so-called danger money than the actual pilots themselves. They wouldn't let them forget that. So as the sun began to rise, the two Mark 18 field gun loaded mosquitoes got airborne and set their course 030 degrees. And as they raced across the sea, four more mosquitoes from 248 Squadron joined them in formation, flying under radar at a daring 40 to 50 feet above the waves. They scanned the sea, looking for any small outlines. The sub was out there. Intelligence was correct. The mosquitoes are now 400 miles from home. Still searching. They're coming up to the coordinates. This is where it should be. All of a sudden, the lead pilot spots something on the horizon. It's the unmistakable shapes of a ship, convoy, and within it, a submarine. This is perfect. This is what they've been hunting for. The mosquitoes quickly jettison their drop tanks, shed in excess weight. It could make them vulnerable for the incoming anti-aircraft fire. They position themselves ready for the attack. Two Tetsi Mark 18s climb high into the sun. 248 goes for the ships. Mosquitoes from 248 Squadron dive low, strafing the escort ships with a hailstorm of bullets under heavy fire. Their skill and suppression buys precious time for the final assault. Deterred by flag, Doug Turner and Des Curtis initiate a 35 degree daring dive, reaching speeds of 380 miles an hour towards the submarine. Training their Molin six pounder field gun just before their target, they fired the non explosive solid steel shell to hit the water. They would aim just to the side of the U boat. The shell fired at the right angle would run through the water like a torpedo parallel to the surface and rip through the hull like butter, then ricochet about inside, finding its way back out again, causing double the damage. A truly brutal weapon. By now, 
the U-boat had stopped weaving. It had lost its maneuverability and most of its guns. It was dead in the war. Final blow. Incoming. U-976, heavily damaged, began to slip under the waves. Out of the 51 crew members, 47 managed to survive the attack. Four were mortally wounded. The remaining crew were all picked up by the escort and minesweepers and returned to base. But the story did not end there. Ten days would pass, and no reply. But then, following their initial encounter, a profound friendship took place between these warriors above and below the sea, uniting them in a shared purpose that extended beyond the skies and the oceans of World War II. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and a subscribe to Spitfire CGI. Thank you.